This is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. In this episode, we're going to talk about Switch Port Extender. So, Switch Port Extender is a new feature, uh, and so the first thing we need to do is configure our control bridge. So, our control bridge is the ICX 7750. So, in this case, for this demo, I have a pair or a stack of 7750s. Um, there can be more than two, up to 12 in that stack is fine. Um, and so those are the control bridges. So once this configuration is done, all the configuration for your PEs or your 7450s is going to be done from the control bridge. So it'll work like a stack, but it's it's definitely not a stack. So um, so we have our control bridge, so, and then off of that control bridge, I've got two 10 gig ports in an SPX lag. So there's a link aggregation group. Uh, going down to our first PE, so uh, ports 1 slash 1 slash 47 and 2 slash 1 slash 47 are lagged together, uh, going to 1, 2, 1 and 1, 2, 3 on PE 21. And then we have another lag, 1, 3, 1 and 1, 4, 1, which are my 40 gig ports, right? So normally those would be my stack ports on a 7450. So I've got an 80 gig SPX lag going down to my PE 22. Now, it's important to note, though, that these two, the two 7450s, are not stacked together, right? They are separate entities or separate PEs off of the control bridge. So even though the traffic going to PE 22 passes through PE 21, it's not a, it, this does not work as a single entity. It, it's, uh, it's managed separately like a blade from that 7750. So let's see how that gets done. We'll hop over to our command line here. Um, we're going to go into config T. So the first thing you would do is you do a um, SPX-CB enable here. Um, however, on the 7750, if your 7750 is running uh, any blend of spanning tree, um, it's going to require a reload when you do that command. And since uh, I didn't want to wait for that during the demo, I went ahead and already entered that command and did the reload uh, prior to the start. Uh, if you're not running spanning tree though on your 7750s, then that is not an issue. So the next thing we do, uh, we need to do an SPX, SPX CB configure. So we need to go in and configure our SPX ports. So we do an SPX uh, dash lag here. And the ports is 1 slash 1 slash 47 and 2 slash 1 slash 47. I'm sorry, those are in disabled state. So let me re enable those ports first. Uh, and E 1 slash 1 slash 47, E 2 slash 1 slash 47. We'll enable those first. And then we're going to go back into uh, SPX CB configure and set up our lag. So that's all we have to do for now from the 7750. The next thing we're going to do is hop over to the first P 7450 or PE21 as it will soon be known. Um, so I'm going to telnet into its management address. Okay, so um, what we want to do is an SPX, uh, going to config T first, uh, PE dash enable. So what it's going to tell me is it's going into provisional PE mode. So it's going to become a PE after it reloads. Um, and then right now the commands are going to be uh, SPX unit one. Uh, once it reloads, though, this is going to be SP, um, SPX unit 21 because that's what I'm going to configure it to be. But for right now, you configure it as unit one and it will convert it. Uh, it will convert the configuration when it reloads. So um, it asks you to do a write mem and a reload to get out of provisional state and to become a real PE when it's done. So um, the next thing we need to do we're going to do uh, an optional um, suggested ID. So we're going to suggest that it becomes 21. Um, so the, the reason you want to suggest those is because 
the port numbers from the 7750's perspective when you're configuring this PE is going to become unit number slash module number slash port number. So from the 7750's perspective, once I reload this device, when I'm configuring ports on this PE, they're gonna the port numbers are gonna be 21 slash module number slash port number. So it's 21 slash one slash one. PE, the next PE 22 is going to be 22 slash one slash one, etc. cetera. So, uh, so you may want to do that or you may let the system assign them, but I prefer to, uh, to know who those are going to be before I reload. Um, so the other thing we have to do is we have to configure the, uh, the SPX ports on these guys. So we're going to go to unit one because it's still unit one. It will be 21 when we're done. Uh, and we're going to remove the default, no SPX port, uh, one slash two slash one and one slash two slash three. Um, so it's giving me a warning and saying, hey, I've got no SPX ports or lags configured. So I need to set up my SPX lag uh, going northbound or going upstream. Uh, so this is going to the 7750, one slash two slash one, one slash two slash three. Uh, so even though it looks like I just added the same ports, those were configured as SPX port before, now they're SPX lag. So they are now a lag together uh, as, a, as a link aggregation group uh, before they were separate ports. So I wanted to do that. Uh, and then uh, so then I'm setting my southbound lag. So I now have two SPX lags configured. Uh, so if we look at the running config here, I have uh, my SPX PE enabled. I have suggested ID 21. Uh, and then under unit one, which it will be unit 21, of course, I've got an SPX lag going northbound. So my two 10 gig ports going northbound up to the 7750s. And then I've got two 40 gig ports going southbound down to uh, what will be PE 21. So. I'm going to write mem and then I'm going to reload this device and then I can go in uh, and, um, and configure PE22 in the meantime while I wait for that to reload. So, um, Let me just uh, hop back into my 7750s here. So back to the 7750. And the next thing I'm going to do is go into PE20, what will be 22. Uh, and basically, we're going to repeat the same thing. Now, we don't need a southbound SPX lag this time. We only need a northbound one. Um, but we basically do the same thing. So we go uh, SPX uh, PE dash enable. So we're entering provisional mode, right? We're going to do a suggested ID here. Um, and this one is going to be 22. Uh, then we're going to go into the SPX unit one because it's still unit one. It will be 22 later. Uh, we're going to remove the default ports. No SPX dash port uh, one slash two slash one and one slash two slash three. So we're moving the two default ports. So it's now telling me I've got no ports. Um, then I do an SPX dash lag. Uh, one slash three slash one and one slash four slash one. Okay, so that's it for that guy. So I'll do a write mem and then lastly, I'm gonna reload. So that's it for a basic configuration. And uh, so once these guys are done reloading, they are uh, automatically going to get added into that 7750 configuration and we'll actually see their configuration show up as part of the of the 7750. So after the reload is finished of the two devi PE devices, uh, we can now run that show SPX command again. Uh, and not only do we see our two 7750s, which is our control bridge, we can now see the two SPX PEs. So we see the two 7750s, 
unit number 21 and 22, um, and they're remote and they're ready. So then from the topology view here, here's our 27750s, and then we can see port 1 slash 1 slash 47 uh, is connected to 21 slash 2 slash 1. Now, those are the primary ports of those lags, and the equal sign here tells me that that's a lag. It doesn't tell me how many ports are in that lag, but it does tell me it's a lag. Um, if that was just a single dash there, then it would just be a single port or an SPX um, port as opposed to an SPX lag. So the equal sign tell, tells me that it's more than one port. And then we have PE21 connected to 22 via 21 slash 3 slash 1 is the primary port in the lag connected to 22 slash 3 slash 1 uh, is a secondary port. Um, and if I do a show interface, uh, show interface E, um, let's see, 1 one slash 1 slash 47, the primary port of my lag here, um, it is going to tell me that this is an SPX port lag and the port state is forwarding here. Um, so that tells me, and then yeah, I can look at the other one and it sh will be in the same state, of course. So... Here's my SPX port, and it's it's in a forwarding state as well. Um, and so now I can configure the the ports on any of those other devices or the other devices entirely from this 7750 stack. So um, I now have port numbers such as interface E21 slash one slash one, or you know interface E22 slash one slash one. So essentially, it looks like a stack. It looks like a single entity. I can configure all the parameters from any of the PEs, and we can have four PEs deep at this point um, and multiple PEs hanging off, off the same control bridge. So um, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.